Welcome back guys. It is absolutely freezing out here. I wanted to walk around the side of our greenhouse here and show our little compost pile. It's not really little, but it's small compared to a normal gene pain compost pile. This is about half of the size of what you would normally see. I just wanted to talk today about what we're doing with all these wood chips. All of these wood chips are nice and fresh, and moist and warm. I can literally warm my hand up on this pile right here that's awesome so what i wanted to talk about is the ratios we've got going on in this pile this thing is about 90 percent of carbon maybe 95 percent carbon mostly wood chips so what we are doing to ignite it is dousing it we'll spread all of our ash on top we'll throw urine on that and then we'll water it in and put a tarp on top we always tarp it because the moisture getting in and out from the snow will either make a too damp of a pile or too dry of a pile when the sun's shining. You want to keep the same moisture content all the time to continuously burn this. So we're basically using all carbon and a little bit of liquid nitrogen and we are achieving a nice warm pile. I can sit on here and it is actively heating me. So I wanna take a look inside our greenhouse here to see how well this gene pain compost method has worked. What we are doing in here, whew, it is like eight degrees outside, my hands are freezing. We are transferring all of that to water and air with these two systems. We're blowing that through our compost and into our greenhouse. We are transferring all of that water. This little pump pulls the water up into our compost pile and this black hose runs through our whole pile we got about 75 feet of hose coiled through there heating up and it runs back out into our greenhouse along the side of our bucket and down under the bed so we buried that about four inches deep underneath the dirt and then wood chips just brought our wheat grass out here yesterday to start warming up we are gonna sprout this for our chickens. It's catching all of the warm water that comes through our compost and starts to immediately transfer into the beds. It's got our radishes and our beets popping up. It sustains a nice good temperature on the floor in here. So the hose runs all the way through and back down this side and we're still catching good heat enough to sustain sprouting temperatures. We got some kale here. So I just wanted to have this little checkup update on our gene pain pile, heating up this entire greenhouse with these two systems always running for us. I wanna show, we have the timer running on this pump. The timer makes that very useful. It runs for 15 minutes out of each hour. So it will cycle for 15 minutes, warm the bed up, and then shut down, and then transfer again. And we do that to increase longevity of our solar panel and the nine volt battery that is our bank in here. We can get 24 hours of runtime if we have a little bit of sunlight just by saving energy and running it on a timer as opposed to constantly running it. This is constantly running when the sun is on, but this transfers heat at nighttime. So that is why we put these two systems in here. This warms it up very early morning. As soon as any sun comes up behind the clouds, this thing runs. This little solar panel works very well. It is nice and sealed. It's very small and it runs this fan perfectly. This was a very nice buy. I am very impressed with this little fan here. It keeps our greenhouse warm. I come out here early morning. It's about 10 a.m. right now, but I'll come out here before the sun even gets up sometimes. I've got my motion activated light up there. I'll come out here and I'll make sure all of our systems running every once in a while. I don't check on it every day because these have been pretty proficient and we set these systems up and they actually worked very well for us. We did our homework on it and we're achieving very good temperatures all winter long. If anybody's got any questions on anything going on in our little greenhouse here, feel free to drop it below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.